Welcome back to my channels guys. I'm Jesse Clark with Small Business Resources. Today we are going to talk about Pixlr, Photo Editor, and Design Creator. If you've been watching my channel, you'll, you will see that I've talked about and reviewed other graphic design. Today it's kind of cool because if you do not have Photoshop or you cannot afford the Adobe Suite and especially Photoshop, this is a great alternative. Pixlr not only has the graphic design editor and creator built into it, but it also has the actual photo editor that is very similar to Photoshop. So I'm gonna get right into it, show you some of the features, and then I'm gonna do a price comparison with other programs out there. And I really do think this is uh, one of the platforms that you are getting a, a great deal on for uh, everything you get. So I want to break this up here today in the Pixlr E, which is the actual photo editor that's very similar to Photoshop. <clears throat> and then the Pixlr X, which is the uh, easy graphic design creator. And that is what I'm going to compare to some of the other platforms out there. And you'll see that with Pixlr, you're, it's very competitive in pricing, plus you're getting that um, special uh, photo editor add-on. So let's start out with Pixlr E, the photo editor. You can see we have our home here. You can open up a new image. You can go to your history and you can check out some different uh, templates to start you off. And it even lets you look for some stock images. So let's go here and I'm just gonna choose this dog here. I can choose the resolution that I want. I'm just gonna go web max 1280. So here is my dog and you can see if you're familiar with Photoshop that it the the layout is very very similar you have your tools over here you have your menus up here and then you have your palettes over here I'm not going to go through all these tools today but I do want to point out a couple things that I've noticed in Photoshop you can have folders over here let's say you have 30 layers you can put those in folders just to organize yourself a little more here you cannot do that. You can have your history, which um, down here, which you also have in Photoshop. And you have quite a few tools over here that are very similar to Photoshop. Pixlr X, which is just the graphic design editor. It's a more um, simplified. You don't have as many tools, but let's choose this template. You're gonna see that you have less tools to work with. So how you can tell, one way you can tell is if you're in Pixlr E or Pixlr X, is by the tools that are on the left hand side of your dashboard so let's say i'm still in pixlr r and i'm in the photo editor so i just want to click on this template that i had you can see that in pixlr e you still have all the tools that you would inside let's say photoshop you have all the photo editing tools but now if we go back to pixlr x which is just the graphic design editor it's a more um simplified you don't have as many tools but let's choose this same template you're gonna see that you have less tools to work with so my best advice is use Pixlr E if you want to edit a photo and you use Pixlr X if you are just creating a graphic design for your website for social media for any type of marketing that you're doing so getting into um, price comparison and if we're going in here to uh, Pixlr pricing, you're going to see that you have free. See what comes with that. You have it's a there's a sale right now for $4.90 a month, and then $14.99 a month. And you can see exactly what you get. But regardless, you get access to Pixlr X and Pixlr E, both platforms. So you're not just getting the photo editor; you're getting the graphic design editor as well. So if you go in here to uh, photo, Adobe Photoshop, you're going to pay $20. 99 a month for just the Photoshop to compare just the graphic design editor relay that is very similar you can see the prices here and I'll have these links down in the description you have canva which is here's the pricing there Fotor, there's their pricing and Crello these are some of the ones I've used in the past there you have it the Pixlr review check down in the description sign up click on those links 
and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon my channel so you don't miss my next review and my next tips and tricks with small business resources. Thanks again. Have a great day.